Hey everybody, do you want to go with me? Heading up to Dubois to see my mother on Thursday at noon. It's noon right now. She goes to lunch at noon, but by the time I get up there and fiddle around a little, I'm going to stop at the Dollar General and pick something up for her. By the time I get there, it'll be about 1 o'clock. She'll be back in a room. I hope. I don't know what I'm going to get her. She likes that beef jerky. Maybe I'll see if they have that. I'll pick up another pack of that. I brought her two last time, but I don't know how much she is eating of it. Maybe I'll just pick up a pack and throw it in my Merce, my man bag, in case she is low, I'll give that to her. Maybe some donut or side donut or something, I don't know. She's a hard woman to buy for. And then of course she wants to pay you for everything. It's hard to give her a gift because she wants to pay you for everything. She doesn't. She doesn't want you. She doesn't want me spending my money on her. You know how that is. Mothers are like that. We're here by the Boy Scout camp. A nice rhododendron they got growing there. No fishermen over there in the lake. So it's a nice day, but it's only 60 degrees. <coughs> Sunshine, but only 60. And according to the 10 day forecast, that's pretty much what we're in for is mid 60s, low 70s for the next 10 days. However correct that may be, we'll see, but that's what it says now, which is all right for, with me. It's kind of breezy today, though. It's a cold breeze. If it hits 70, that would be nice. <clears throat> Tomorrow, by the time I visit my mom today and get home. I won't have time, but tomorrow I gotta cut my grass. It's supposed to be dry for the next four days, three days. I think Sunday it's supposed to like an 80% chance of rain, but that changes real quick. We will see what goes on with the weather. But it's been a interesting spring, and here we are almost in June. But I remember especially one year, it was 2002. I was living in a trailer down the road from where I'm at now, and I had just bought I worked at Walmart, I was working at Walmart distribution center, and I was married the second time. <clears throat> and I just bought a brand new motorcycle, and I brought it home, it was, I think it was April 25th, 2002, that I bought the motorcycle. I rode it home from Dubois, and I remember it was like 40 degrees, and I froze my rear end off riding that thing home. And I put it in my shed, and honest to God truth, I think it rained just about every day from that time till the end of June. 
I used to go out and sit in my shed in a pouring down rain and stare at my new motorcycle. And it was pouring down rain and I couldn't take it out, although I did a few times. I didn't mind riding in the rain as long as it was warm. But anyway, that's a goofy story. Looks like it might have rained a little bit up here this morning. The roads have some wet spots. I haven't been up to see my mother since, when was it? Last week. Tuesday, I think. I feel bad about that, but time just goes so fast. I think about going up and it's, I just, I don't know, the time just flies. And the bad thing is she don't even have a phone in her room. So I can't call her. I mean, I know I could call the nurse's station and they'd take a phone down to her, but, you know, I don't want to do that too often. they get her back in her other room, but I don't know. They say she's got to get stronger and be able to walk on her own before they'll let her go back to personal care. And honestly, I hate to say it, but I don't see her getting any stronger. She can stand up it takes her a while to get up and you can tell it's a real strain on her. But she can't walk at all unless she has a walker. And even then it's a delicate situation. Right now if she has to go to the bathroom <coughs> she has to call a nurse in and they have to help her. And even with the walker, the nurse kind of has to hold her up a little bit. She's so skinny. I think she said she was 110 pounds. And she's losing weight instead of gaining weight. And that's not good. Because I know I mentioned before in other videos that she eats like a bird, you know, half a banana and half a sandwich, but she was always like that. I don't know if it goes back to her time as a child when they were dirt poor with 12 kids in the family. And I don't know. Anyway, that's the way it is. you all having a good week. Some terrible storms down in Texas and in the middle of Midwest. The weather's really crazy. Never know what you're going to get. I didn't watch the weather report this morning. stay away from the news a little bit. I like to keep up on what's going on, but I basically now just turn it on to make sure nothing major happened. And I turn it off. We're coming up on the highway in a bit so I might do a little recording at the nursing home I should set my tripod up and take you on there with me but 
Maybe I will. I don't know. We're on the highway. I'll catch you here in a bit. Stay tuned. I'm going to buy a car just like that when I get grown up. They're in there having pizza. Hey, everybody. I went in the Dollar General. I went in the... Let me put my window up. People don't think I'm... So people can't hear me. People can't hear me outside. I went in the Dollar General up here in Dubois. It's different than the one down, down where I live. They're all different, I guess. Put my glasses on. What I got was, I got two bottles of Coke, 20 ounce. See, the coupon said, buy two, get a dollar off. So I bought two. But it says here only, it says two, two for 235, store discount 70 cents. I should have got a dollar back, according to the coupon thing on the phone. But, <clears throat> didn't they get in trouble for that exact thing, overcharging people? And then I got another beef jerky for my mother. This is a regular flavor. It was $3. There's not much in there. It doesn't say how many ounces. Then I can see 35 grams, whatever that would be. Pretty small package for three bucks, but that's expensive stuff. I got some, last night, some chip, some salsa dip. Because last night I was sitting in my chair thinking, would well, be nice to have some salsa dip. And that was how much was that? Uh, $3.80. So I got these Tostito scoops. So tonight when I'm in the recliner, they were $4.95. That's about $4.95 for that, but. And my mother likes, I know she likes potato chips, so I just got her a bag of uh, regular potato chips, just a small bag. $2.50. $2.50. Okay. We talked about that back relief, Vol Volterran. Vol Volterran or something like that. And they had that in there. And it was uh, $11.50. But right next to it, they had this, which I thought maybe is their generic brand of that Volterran, Volt, however you say that, whatever it was. So I got this. We're going to try this. It was $8.75. And I got some of them for three bucks. You know what those do. So I'm sorting out here. I spilled. I opened a bottle of Coke and I spilled it. I dropped it in here on my seat and it started to foam and I, I only took one drink out of that and it's half, half of it went all over the place in there. So anyway, and then my mother wanted a picture of my daughter. So I got this frame. I found, I had this picture at home. This is my daughter and her husband, Gabe. And they live, they're both in the Air Force. And right now they live in Okinawa. So I got this frame and I put that picture in there so she can have a picture of, so she can brag up on my daughter and have a picture to show the nurses and stuff. So I want to get a bag here with the stuff for her. So I'm going to put that picture frame in there. 
put this in there. That's where put the beef jerky in there. That's for her. Um, let me see. This stuff. Why is it so heavy? Okay, it's got the salsa. Any other coke? Let me put this in there. I don't know if she double bagged this. Double bagged. So this stuff goes in my house. I'm going to take this in with me because I might put some on while I'm in there. Visiting with my mother and see how it works. So that bag goes in my house. This bag. Beef jerky and the chips and a frame go to my mother. So that's settled there. That I'll put in there too because I want to it up. Anyway, the whole thing was $34, $34.48. I always, always forget about that $5 on Saturday. Never fails. I go in and I forget about that. Of course, some of that stuff I could have got Friday, but the other stuff I got to get today. It's 10 after 1 right now, so... I'm going to head over to my mother, if anything's new or different or whatever, I'll let you know. But that's probably it for today. So I'm going to say it, I might come back though. Should I say it or should I wait? Because I might come back with something else. I'll say it anyway. Stay frosty. She gets up pretty good. She does? She's getting up to go to the bathroom. She needs help with that. Hey, I thought I'd come back and let you know. I'm just leaving the nursing home. She's doing better today. She was in pretty good spirits today as opposed to the last time I was here. Today she seemed to be a lot more positive. And the doctor, I guess, was in and told her that she was doing better. And two weeks, two more weeks of therapy, and then she can go back to her room in personal care, which is nice. Then she'll have a phone, at least. I mean, her own phone in her own room, so can call her more often because everybody, all the other relatives are that, that can't come, you know, to live far away and stuff like that. They can't call her now. But, so she can keep going for two more weeks get stronger then therapy will be over and she'll go back to her, to her personal care so that's good news so I just wanted to let everybody know because I know a lot of you are thinking about her and praying for her and I really thank you all and I appreciate that so that's it for sure this time. I'll be back tomorrow or Sunday or Monday. Or, but I'll be back. Stay frosty.